Going. Going, going, gone. Okay, so we got it oh, working. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, I love, love how this runs at 48 frames. Should I, uh, do you think I should switch it to 60 just for myself? Probably. <clears throat> Probably. <clears throat> I mean, this game doesn't even run fully, probably even at 30 frames. That well, right now it's going at 153 without fraps from going. Anyways. Okay, yeah, going, going, gone. I already made that joke, but it's not going to be on the actual thing anymore. Let's go. Be on mine. Finally, you're up. I was afraid you were going to sleep all day. I guess the instructors work you pretty hard here at the academy. I don't know, do they, AJ? Uh. Yes. My name's Pavel. I'm one of the new recruits. I just arrived here at the academy this morning. No, continue talking, please. I want you. I want to hear how you pronounce my name. Please, <laughs> continue. <laughs> Uh, yes, this is me. Oh, and no more voice, darn. Who, who's, who's Pavel? Uh, I can't really do that kind of voice. Uh, I, really, it's, it's not really voicing, it's more just <coughs> saying it out loud. Is it true what they say about you? That Lady Arabeth herself ordered the Academy to send you an invitation to come here for training? Oh boy, AJ, were we selected? Were we a select group? Uh, weren't you watch? Didn't you watch the opening thing, Nathan? Why are you dual wielding? Why aren't I dual wielding? Stop it! Wait, were there like weapons in that room or something? Maybe. Well, thank you for taking all of them. Not like you're gonna use a long sword. Uh, yeah. Nathan, speak. I've never heard of anyone being invited to train at the academy before. Usually people are begging to get in. It must be a great honor for you. Uh... Uh... It is both an honor and a privilege for me to serve Neverwinter. Is the closest thing to what Ark would say. You're pretty modest for someone who's got such a high expectation on him. It wasn't quite so easy for me to get into the academy. This hair is probably weird. My brother <clears throat> Bim and I were one, working on one of the nearby farms outside the city when we heard Lady Erebus had put out a call for heroes to come to the aid of Neverwinter. We knew the city was suffering, but we didn't realize how bad things were until we got here. We arrived just before they sealed the gates and quarantined the city. <gasps> AJ, we're in a quarantine? <gasps> oh, Nathan, did you look? Did you watch the opening thing or not? There, yes. There is a horrible plague called the Wailing Death. The Wailing Deaths. Deaths. The Wailing Deaths. The, the wailing that is going to be the title of this video. The Wailing Deaths. The Wailing Deaths. Hopefully I remember. Uh, and she put out a call for people, and for some reason, uh, we, a warrior and a sorcerer, are totally going to be able to stop a plague. Cause, I'm going to stab a disease to death. Yeah, you're just going to take that sword and you're just going to stab at all the rats, and I'm going to burn the bodies with my magical burning hands. I really want his armor. <laughs> I'll have fun not having it. Thank the gods I got accepted in the academy. I wouldn't wanna. I wouldn't want to be out there on the streets with the plague, not with the city guards barely able to keep order anymore. Oh boy, AJ. Leave our law revolution. Wait, did he mention his brother? Yeah, his brother was right there. Oh. Uh, what what should we say here? I don't know what are the options. I don't actually know that much about the plague. What did you mean about the city guard barely able to keep order? 
tell me about your brother. Go away. I don't like you. Oh, well, I don't know which would work say in this. I feel like he'd get more information. Uh, what did you mean about the city guard barely able to keep order? Speak. The Wailing Death is the... No, the Death. The Wailing Death is a plague worse than any recorded in entire history of Neverwinter. The whole city has been quarantined. Nobody is allowed in or out. Neverwinter Milita do their best to enforce the quarantine, but people don't like being trapped inside the walls of a plague-infested city. Don't worry, guys. It'll all be... I'll be taken care of in a few years when a volcano erupts and it'll all be wiped out. What? Spoiler alert, something like that happens. Every day more bodies pile up in the streets and citizens move one step closer to panic and open rebellion. Can't say I blame them, it's only been a few months and the dead number is already in the thousands. I'd say that's actually a pretty good number, just saying, just saying sir. I want to talk to you. Although, I suppose, for being in, like, a city, that might not be that good. But, I mean, if it was on a bigger scale, it probably would be. Don't forget, um, this is old, old times. A thousand, a thousands of people dying is a big thing. Dude, ten people dying today is a big thing, apparently. I mean, have you... You seen those school shooting news reports? Yeah. <clears throat> Never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not yeah. gonna continue my. Probably shouldn't thought. continue that. <laughs> sounds like the whole city is. Sounds like the whole city is doomed. Most people have given up any hope of finding a cure for the wailing death. Potions and med medical herbs do nothing. And even the prayers of the city's most powerful clergy <laughs> have been ineffective. Not medical, medicinal. Whatever. I guess that's why Lady Arabeth but... ordered the academy to open its doors to new recruits. The city needs a hero, someone who can save us all from the Wailing Deaths. Okay, again, how are we gonna be saved from the Wailing Deaths? I don't know. Maybe Lady Arabeth is going to be working on a cure secretly. Okay, I think it's time for me to go now. Yep, okay, training. Okay, man, I really... Don't forget okay, to say yeah, hi we'll to... Yeah, definitely the... talk to... Yeah, I want to yeah. talk to... Yeah, uh, not right now, though, Nathan. I, I'm checking this chest. Uh... Okay, I'm assuming... That... My inventory is the bottom one? Yes. Okay, so that means I have... Things. Yes. So right now I am hey there. I want wearing. To to you. Oh my god. <clears throat> uh. But our Hello sorcerer again. robes I'm better. I'm surprised you're still here. I didn't want to talk to you. Why are you talking to Pavel? I didn't want to. I just accidentally clicked on him. <clears throat> Damn, I'm gonna equip a dagger. You're gonna equip a dagger? And. Oh, wait, do torches ever run out? No. Okay, I'm gonna equip. Wait, why do I have? Or oh, are these scrolls? Yes. <clears> hmm. <throat> uh. Okay, that's. Okay, uh... hot bar. Huh. <clears throat> right. Uh, okay. What? Hey there. I want to talk to you. He okay. wants to talk to us, Adrian. I, we're just both. Everybody, hold up your torches. <laughs> Light the way. Just blaze. For things. You can do. Uh, I, I think saw he's you just talking for... to my brother Pavel. My name is Bim. If you want, I can give you a short tutorial on adventuring. Do you need a tutorial on adventuring? Uh, do we need a tutorial on adventuring? I don't know. Do we? Uh, I don't know. Are you going to be able to adequately explain everything? Probably not. 
Just to let you know, you can break out of a conversation at any time by pressing the escape key on your keyboard. Oh, it causes what? you to eat some some kind of blue pill. I'm not sure what it does, but most people drop dead foaming at the mouth. Anyways, or you could just walk away from the person. Yeah, you literally can don't just do walk it now, away from the conversation. This is Whenever you left click with your mouse on the creature or object, your character performs a default action. Default left click actions include speaking to a person, attacking a monster, opening doors and chests. Okay, I already worked that out. Let's talk a little about camera control and viewpoints. There are three different camera styles you can use when playing Neverwinter Nights. Dude, you're breaking the wall. Yeah. I forget which wall, but maybe it's that wall. I think it's the wall right behind you. Don't don't break that wall. It's very it looks very expensive. <clears throat> Perhaps it will open later. Huh. Uh, sending you to top down camera mode to start this tutorial. That's the default setting for the game. Uh, okay. I like the camera the way it is. Okay, if we're happy with this camera mode, then we'll just continue with the tutorial. Several difficulty settings. What are the difficulty settings that we're on right now? Normal. Okay. Uh, multiplayer game DMs do things. Yeah, they're kind of uh -huh. mean. Uh, enemies can't score critical hits. And I can't kill you with my spells. Darn. Game has been balanced for the normal difficulty setting! Exclamation point. Uh, using the other settings may result in gameplay that is too easy or too difficult. Okay. That... <laughs> I'm lost. Could you please explain those things again? That's it for difficulty settings. Let's move on to the next part of the tutorial. You can right-click on any object or creature in the game, including yourself. This is very important to remember, as right-clicking will bring up a member menu that lets you access most of your abilities and actions. <clears throat> Try right-clicking on me to bring up a menu, then select the attack icon on the right of the menu to punch me. Uh, I have a dagger in my hand, but okay. Attack! I want to talk to you again. Okay, sure. He's just I'm, like, I, you're about to book him, and he's just like, I want to talk to you again. I want to talk to I, you again. Yeah, okay. I, I want to talk to you too. There Seems you go. like you got the radial menu figured out. Remember, right click on objects to bring up the radial menu. You can, can even you right voice? click on yourself yes. to access skills, feats, and other special abilities. <clears throat> oh man, I can look at my character sheet, I can do emotes, I can cry, I think. I got special abilities. Issue commands. I can issue a command to myself. I can leave my own party. Nathan, you're dead. I can cast a spell on myself. Okay. No. No, stop. Take a look at your quick bar at the bottom of the screen. The quick bar is one of the most important features in the game. You should learn how to use a quick bar. Okay, man. You don't have to scream. Quick bar lets you use many of your most important skills. Use okay. Quick bar. You can pull up a second quick bar. By using shift, you can pull up a third by hitting control. You can change the abilities on your quick bar by right clicking on the respective box and assigning a new ability to key by using menu system. Use the quick bar. So I'm gonna right click on the F3 one. I am going to change it to casting a spell, uh, a level zero spell, uh -huh. no, a level one spell. I'm going to change it to uh -huh. Ice Ortano Dagger. For what the hell did you just target with that spell? I apparently ta targeted my crossbow. You just attacked your crossbow uh, with a sign spell. spell? I just used up my Ice Dagger. Good job. Okay, Ice Dagger is assigned. Empty that, Science Bell, Burning Hands, uh, get rid of that, Science Bell, Cantrips, Ray of Frost. You're a wizard, guys. Right? Okay. <clears throat> I am a wizard. How'd you know? Because I examined Okay, you. that one's light. That one's that is... Wait, is that a... I can't... Hmm. I guess I, I have light resistance. I what you're doing right now. 
I'm assigning spells. Okay, I think I think I'm good. I think I have everything assigned that I need. Wait, so I can only use spells five. So I need to take a rest before I can use my cantrips again, yeah. or just my spells at all. Yeah. Uh, which one? Which one's rest? How do I rest? Don't worry, I still have our light though. <laughs> I keep getting frame drops occasionally. It's weird. Yeah. I'm assuming it's when Fraps is moving to a different okay. file. Seems like you got the. Okay. Yep. I got the menu figured out. Quick bars. Uh. Okay. Character sheet. Pressing C. Right. Ability scores. Okay. Any special effects? Okay. Uh. Okay. Okay. Pause and play function. Okay. Okay. I can pause the game by pressing space. Oh man. Oh man, you can pause it too. But I can't continue conversation when it's paused. Darn. These actions will show up in action queue across. Okay. <clears throat> Nathan, no. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, well, in pause mode, although these won't say okay. Got it. Oh, man, one last thing. Uh, we've covered how you rest. Okay, right? Yeah. Oh, man. So we got rest. Again? Yeah. Hey there. Boom, I'm done. Well, looks like you're all rested and Yay! Uh, goodbye. Yeah, I know, I hope so. Oh, Nathan, come back! I'm not done! We haven't looted the rest of the rooms. There's an arm armoria that's empty. No, it's a good thing that I've been watching so much anime in the last like few days because now I'll have lots and lots of room. And get your equipment. Oh boy. Except probably there's, not. There's a dwarf that's trying to tell me to get me my get me my equipment. Okay, I'm here. What happened? A dwarf? Yes. Hey dwarf. Come to get yourself some supplies from old Olga, have you? Good idea. I can't have you wandering about the streets naked. <laughs> Might give the Academy a bad name. I'll have you know that UVM has a naked bike ride, and it is... I don't know. Weird. Yeah, it is weird. I don't... Like, you probably, you probably get chafes in all the bad places. <laughs> <clears throat> Who, who's the dwarf? We're just gonna the take city hands. guard was already having enough trouble maintaining control as it urged white bodies piled a dozen deep in the gutters, the wailing deaths running unchecked through the districts. Horrible, I say. You know, I would love to be a city guard in this city because then when people, when you have the, the giant pile of bodies and like, Oh man, there's just too many. How are we gonna fit all of them in there? You just be like, crack knuckles. Don't worry, I got this. And then it turns into a uh, Tetris mini game where you're trying to stack the bodies. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me. That is a legit thing from a game. Uh, playing history, the plague. If I remember correctly. Literally, you're just in the city, and some guys like. Hey, can you like help st help me stack these bodies? And you're like, okay. And then it turns into Tetris. And some of them say, I'm not dead. <clears throat> Speak. No. What? No. Olgard. <laughs> But you've heard all of this before, I'm sure. Here, I've got some equipment for you. A sorcerer, you might find it handy. 
completing your training. Yay! Now if you're tutorial, worried, you'll keep the tutorial uh, on no, the I, 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 no, no. Oh, this might be a good time to teach you how to use the stores in the game. Uh, I have some items Breaking the fourth wall again. You want to purchase. Since you're part of the academy, you get a special discount rate. Oh boy. Oh boy. By the way, buy everything from him, because spoilers, he dies. <gasps> Oh darn, I was hoping it was gonna be like uh, that dwarf from Dragon Age 1 and 2. <clears throat> and he would end up with a son who's kind of mentally challenged, but he's actually a prodigy in other things. Uh. <clears throat> I don't need. Do we need a tutorial on how to use stores? I don't know, do you? I don't. Think we do? Yes, I want to see your inventory. Okay. Welcome oh. back. So, what can all? I want to see what you have to say. Okay, there's shields and armors, but I can't. I need to wear clothing, so um. Just gonna move on. Uh, what we got? We got any quarter staff? Oh boy. Examine. What we got? Uh, base damage 1d6. Bludgeoning. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure I have simple. Okay, 1d6. What's my dagger? 1d4. So I should probably get a quarter staff, yes? Yeah, probably. people with a stick. Okay. Ooh. Oh man, I can't carry a torch though. Good thing I have light. I know, I guess not. Get a shield. sling, can get bolt wait, wait, uh wait. when I, I saw bullets and I was like <gasps> But then I remembered they're probably just for the sling. Yeah. I was so happy. They kinda do I was happy for the though. first time in my life. What is this, a double axe? What is this, the Phantom Menace? Uh, great swords? And two-bladed sword? Nope. I mean, yep, it is the Phantom Menace. <clears throat> Scrolls and potions. We have enough potions, and we're probably gonna not need any things. Magic items? None. Selenius. <clears throat> Healer's kit? Minor spike trap? Uh... Should I sell my light crossbow? Probably not. No, you probably want to use that for the uh, spells. <clears throat> yeah, but I will sell my dagger since I have a quarter staff now. Wait, oh hey, I have a rope of fire resistance. You do? I have not achieved the required level to equip it though. That's... I need to be level two. Well, that sucks. Wait, so what did these look like? Oh. Oh. Fancy. <clears throat> Should I wear those or my squire's tunic? I feel like those you should. Because there's like no difference as far as I can tell. They're both one weight. Hmm. Oop. The game froze for me. Oh, that's nice. I know, I was in the middle of doing my equipment. Oh god. Oop, there we go. My head. Okay then. It doesn't look right. Okay, I'm gonna sell my squire's tunic. And I'll keep everything else as is. <clears throat> oh good, okay, there. I was worried that this was how much space we were actually limited to. I know there's multiple tabs. Yeah. Just have to have the wait for it. Good, okay. Uh, does he have any, like, belts or anything? No. No. We're gonna have to go find those or buy them. Uh, can I use these tools? Yes. Uh, use the conjunction with the open lock skill. Uh, okay, I'm gonna 
15 GP. Do you think I should buy one? No. No? I can just bash it open if we can't get it. Uh, but if it's a chest, it might break what's inside. No, it, you always get what's inside. Okay, then. I guess uh, I'm done with buying things. I still have a lot of GP, but... Did you buy anything? Is there anything else in here that we can... Huh? There's spells. I'm pretty sure there's scrolls. Yeah, but they cost a bunch of GP. Yeah. And, I guess and we're done. scrolls are only one-time use things.